So I think Pa's we were sitting there trying to decide what to do is um, the police had taken their report and left and they called and said that somebody had seen her at McDonald's and I just remember I was like she's close she's still here um, and that was the biggest breath of fresh air just to think that somebody had seen her so from there I was like she's in the area I said Paula we got to get in the car and we're gonna go find her um, and that is when some people from the church came her teacher came uh, from her school some of the kids came that leaders came from all over and we everybody got flyers and started canvassing the area I am a survivor I was trafficked at the age of 15 I was a runaway so they tied me down over the bed um, without any clothes It was pretty, pretty desolate in there, and I think that's what made was a little nerve-wracking. Human trafficking is a crime and a human rights violation, commonly referred to as modern-day slavery, which can be defined as debt, bondage, serfdom, forced marriage, and the delivery of a child. For the exploitation of that child are all slavery-like practices. person that I just called. Yeah. She's got two words they have the same response. That's when I started getting on the internet. And somebody, it must have been somebody who was helping us said check back, back page, back, back page, that's what it's called. And um, I spent the rest of the night on back page and, and learned what that was, part of Craigslist. Just, and it was young women you know, you could tell when I started looking in, in hotel rooms or different things up for sale. And I sat there the rest of the night looking for, you know, to see if somebody had gotten Caitlin. And that's when I realized this human trafficking thing is for real. Slavery is illegal in nearly every country in the world. But the ugly beast hasn't gone away. It was clandestinely slipped into new disguises and managed to grow larger with the aid of organized crime which has taken on the shape of human trafficking. Upon research, slavery looks very different in every part of the world, but its DNA can't be refuted. Although different factors may contribute to the demand and how traffickers prey on the vulnerable underbelly of a society's core, one thing is consistent and undeniable. It must be eradicated at all costs.